If you make it onto a TV show that's successful, don't rock the boat. Just enjoy it for goodness sake. Do you know how many actors would kill for the opportunity you have? A lot of them. So just try and sort what the issue is out in your own head. And if you can't, for the love of everything, don't go after the star of the thing. That's just dumb. This is, however, what some actors do. It's why you'll be sat there watching your favorite show, only to all of a sudden realize a role has utterly changed humans. The human you recognize is gone, and a new human has arrived. Huge mistake. I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is 10 TV shows that were disrupted by behind the scenes feuds. Number 10, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. One minute Aunt Viv was there, and the next, well, she was still there, but she'd morphed into a different woman. Coming out of a massive conflict behind the scenes between Janet Hubert and, you guessed it, Will Smith in 1993, Hubert soon disappeared from the show to be replaced by Daphne Maxwell Reed for the fourth season. The official line was contractual disagreements, but the real problems were the off screen fights between the pair. We know this because everyone involved with the series loves talking about it. Hubert did say recently she'd like to leave all this in the past for a reunion, but I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Number 9. Community I don't even watch Community properly, and even I know about the tension Chevy Chase seemed to love bringing to the set week in, week out. Usually having show creator Dan Harmon in his sights, it all started when Harmon had some choice words about Chevy at the show's rap party. Now, Harmon shouldn't have done that, but Chase's response was to leave him a voicemail using every swear word you've ever heard, and some you didn't know that existed. This soon leaked to the media, because of course it did, and the whole thing exploded in Chase walking off the set during the last day of shooting. Ultimately, everybody lost too. Chase left during the fourth season and Harmon was gone by the end of the third, even though he did return for season five. Today, community has been cancelled. Number eight, Taxi. In the 1970s, Taxi was massive. Basically serving as the Big Bang Theory of the era, although potentially bigger, the real twist came in its cast. Star of the show Andy Kaufman was nuts. Now he was nuts in the best way ever, because he was a talented comedian and actor who hated sitcoms while starring in a successful one. In fact, he hated it so much, he even created an alter ego while filming named Tony Clifton. Given he would often get bored on set, the rest of the cast were infuriated by Kaufman, considering him unprofessional. This didn't help when he once turned up for filming as Clifton, before being late for rehearsals as two prostitutes visited his trailer. Admittedly, him being physically removed from the set one day was done for publicity, but the rest of the shenanigans really did hit a nerve with everybody. Number 7. Charmed As you will soon see, this is isn't Shannon Doherty's first rodeo when it comes to freaking out on set. She's not the easiest person to work with, it would seem, and Charm was no different. Rumors of fights between her and co-star Alyssa Milano went on for years, and this was cemented when Doherty left after the third season. Milano even went as far to say it was like being back in high school, which it probably was. Doherty and co-star number two, Holly Marie Combs, had been friends for years before filming even begun, so you can imagine the friction that existed. Shannon clearly had enough eventually, though, as her character was killed off and replaced with a new witch, so the trio could remain as such. Number 6. Grey's Anatomy Grey's Anatomy is a bit like pro wrestling in the sense what was going on behind the scenes may have been more interesting than what was happening in front of the cameras. But after Isaiah Washington and Patrick Dempsey almost came to blows on set, it is reported that Washington used a homophobic slur. On top of that, said slur was aimed at T.R. Knight, who was gay. That's not cool. Unsurprisingly, Washington's career nosedived after this. He was forced to apologize to the LGBT community, but the damage was done. And in 2007, ABC announced they wouldn't be renewing his contract. If that wasn't bad enough, there was also repeated hearsay that Katherine Heigl was also being somewhat of a diva, making it very clear she wanted off the show to pursue film instead. This led to her openly criticizing Grey's Anatomy and publicly saying she didn't submit her name for an Emmy in 2008 because she didn't think the material was worthy of one. Ouch. Number 5. Beverly Hills 90210 Round 2 for Miss Doherty as she was kicked off Beverly Hills 90210 after continually causing drama and problems behind the scenes. Cast members have often said Shannon had a lot of opinions. Or in short, that yes, she was difficult to work with. That's why out of nowhere, Brenda Walsh, the character she played, was magically shipped off to London. The door was purposefully left open in case a reunion could happen, but guess what? Everyone involved decided against it. They didn't need the stress. Number 4. Glee As soon as Glee got popular, there were ongoing rumors of tension between stars Leah Michelle and Naya Rivera. Apparently the former was a diva, and the latter was someone who enjoyed telling divas they were being a diva. Not the best combo right there. It's only fair to make it clear it is literally just rumors, but there are so many, just go and type it into Google, that it soon becomes a case of no smoke without fire. It certainly never derailed the show to any huge degree, but it must have made filming a nightmare if the two were bickering constantly. Who needs that? Number 3. Growing Pains When Growing Pains star Kirk Cameron found religion, he also found that he wasn't comfortable doing some of the storylines the producers of the show wanted him to do. 
you can see the problem here straight away. Furthermore, Kirk demanded more say in the content of the series and even insisted Julie McCullough, who played his fiance, should be fired because she had appeared in Playboy. That pissed everyone off, especially three behind the scenes producers who quit after Cameron rang them up to accuse them of being pornographers. While he has since apologized for all this, it did affect the show. Anything that was deemed too racy or adult was cut, meaning Growing Pains had a harsher critic on set than the TV network it aired on. Number two, Saturday Night Live. It's no real surprise that an intense environment like Saturday Night Live has bred its fair share of fallouts over the years. The pressure of live TV can be pretty extreme. When the show was still in its infancy, there was a legendary standoff between our friend Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. Chase had left Saturday Night Live to pursue a film career, so when he came back to be the guest host, some tension remained. So much, in fact, that Murray and Chase had a big fight backstage. There was also no love lost between John Belushi and many of the female writers and performers. John, for some reason, didn't rate female comedians very highly, and several of the women who were on the show with him have accused the actor of sabotaging sketches that were created by female writers. Allegedly, he would give half-hearted performances in the read-through for any of their skits. Just stupid. Most bizarrely, however, was the odd relationship between Victoria Jackson and her fellow cast. Many of the people she worked with took exception to her strange voice and ditzy act, especially when she continued to tell her fellow stars that they were all going to hell. Yep, down there in the hot stuff. Number one, two and a half men. In what is a shock to nobody, Charlie Sheen has been involved in his fair share of controversy over the years. Who'd have thunk it? It was even worse on two and a half men though, as everyone aside from John Cryer had a hissy fit at one point or another. Not only did we witness Sheen self-destruct in front of our eyes after a massive falling out with showrunner Chuck Lorre, but star Angus T. Jones made a public statement calling the show filth. He even told audiences, don't watch it. Okay, you could argue he has a point. The show was terrible. The problem, however, is that Two and a Half Men made Angus a literal millionaire. He didn't seem too upset about that now. Hello there, I am the second best Ewan to be involved with Star Wars, and this is Watto Culture, your one stop Ewan, shop. Ewan, yeah, what? We're not calling it that, we changed it. What, 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 we, what we changed it to? What culture Star Wars? Just the SEO, isn't it? So. I, I suppose you are right. Well, hello there again, and welcome to What Culture Star Wars, a brand new channel dedicated to exploring the galaxy far, far away in the classic What Culture style. We got lists, we got news, we got editorials, we've got ups and downs, and just like the big yellow text said earlier, we'll be covering everything to do with Star Wars past, present, and future. It doesn't matter whether you're a prequels kind of person, an original trilogy purist, or if you just really love the sequels. If you love Star Wars, this will be a safe positive space to come and relax, chug some blue milk and maybe even have a death stick or two, and yeah, just have a good time. We'll be kicking things off with weekly reviews of the upcoming season of The Mandalorian and have already got a selection of Star Wars themed playlists for you to enjoy based on content that's already online at What Culture Gaming and What Culture to keep you entertained in the meantime while we transform this place from a Death Star to Return of the Jedi looking half thing into something more ominous and Starkiller looking. Like the base, like Ilum with the big gun out. We we don't have a gun. In the meantime, it would be very droopy McCool of you if you could subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our uploads going forward. That's all for now though, I've been Ewan, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!